Let's I'm do excited. it. excited. Okay, good. Put your steak right there. All right. Now, off of that steak, we're gonna do two circles. One for the actual fire pit, and then one for the fire pit area, okay? That'll mm -hmm. be about 18 feet all the way around. Okay. The other thing is, when you're doing one of these, you wanna know what's above you, because you don't want low-hanging uh, low limbs, you don't want any sort of dry leaves above you. You wanna make sure you got plenty of clearance for that heat to go. So I think this is the best spot back yep. here, okay? okay? Plus, your neighbor's got a good view of the fire pit. Okay. You've got two strings, right? Right. Find me the little string. Short string. That ought to be about 24 and a half inches so that the diameter all the way around is going to be 45. Watch this. We're going to take our marking paint. This is going to keep us honest all the way around. Beautiful. There's our first circle. Now, your second string. Not that your second string, it's the actual second <laughs> string okay. that you I'm have. I'm used to that. Okay. <laughs> Next, attach your longer string to the inner circle stake and measure the distance for the second circle. Spray the loop with marking paint and now you have your working space. This is your fire pit, pit area. This is your sort of entertaining area all around here where the chairs and things are gonna be, but it needs to be a little bit more level, so we're gonna go get our little tiller, do a little excavating, and try to get our surface a little bit more to grade. Prepping the area, using the tiller, probably the toughest part. Haley and Jason quickly clear the area for the fire pit, rake, Add an inch of coarse sand to the perimeter, and then tap down the sand to create an even flat surface. Had some fun stomping that out, burned some calories, burned off lunch. Now it's time to assemble the bricks. Fire pit, ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. All right. See our uh, line here? Yep. We're gonna overlap that line by just about an inch. Okay. All right? So keep an eye on your corners, and it's very simple. We're gonna put in a big stone. We're gonna follow that with a little stone, just I can like that. that. You go that way, you go this way, you all will meet in the middle. Once we got our sand down and got everything level, the rest of it kind of fell into place. After each row is complete, add a bead of construction adhesive before starting your next layer. What am I doing? I'm doing all the I'm just going to do this for a second, and then all you're right. going to take over, okay? okay? Just a nice, even bead all the way around. We're going to center this over that small piece there, okay? okay? So that from the outside, you get a much nicer looking reveal than if you lined them up. Plus, it's a lot stronger because you're covering that gap right there, and you're right. gluing it down. So that's helping to hold the whole thing together. It's going to be any easier. Perfect. Now for the outer stones. When working with a larger diameter, simply alternate the angles of the larger stones, inserting adhesive between the layers. Now that the fire pit and surrounding walls are done, we just need to add some gravel, plants, and some illumination. We're so excited about the fire pit. My wife and I work together pretty quickly, and that, you know, when that happens, you know you did something right. 